It was one of New York's deadliest chopper crashes. Five passengers on board a doors-off helicopter tour. The only survivor, the pilot, who quickly unhooked his harness and escaped before the chopper went under. But his harness was much different than the one securing his passengers. Theirs was a complicated harness and tether system designed to keep them safe while sitting at the open door of the chopper while taking pictures, but not designed for an emergency. The video from inside the doors off chopper shows the ill-fated passengers struggling to free themselves as the aircraft fills with water after crashing into the East River in March of 2018. The NTSB made a transcript of the video public on Monday, not the video itself. The footage taken by a GoPro camera mounted on the ceiling of the chopper's cabin. Investigators had been probing whether the harnesses hindered the passengers from escaping the chopper, which flipped over and eventually sank. Bolstered by rescue divers who said the harnesses made it hard to rescue the passengers and had to be cut just to free the victims, as well as a tweet posted just after the crash by a man who was on the next scheduled flight saying that the harness and tethers were indeed difficult to remove in an emergency and that passengers weren't told where the emergency knives were kept. The transcript painting a chilling picture of the last seconds of life, describing one passenger reaching for a spot on his chest where a hook knife had been earlier, still another pulling in vain at the straps of his harness, and the sound of another struggling for breath. After the crash, the FAA issuing a damning statement on the complicated seatbelt tether straps, pointing out that while intended as a safety measure in flight, they may have prevented the passengers' quick egress from the aircraft. Brace, brace, brace. Last year, PIX-11's Kirsten Cole took part in a simulation guided by Survival Systems USA, which showed the difficulties of escaping such a situation. Buckled into an aircraft and upside down, trying to unbuckle a four-point seat belt while the seconds tick by. Now, in resuming those doors off tours, Fly Neon is now using an FAA-approved harness and tether system. Still, Senator Chuck Schumer continues to call for such flights to be banned for anything other than commercial use. Under pressure, the DOT's inspector general has agreed to do an investigation into just how dangerous these flights are. Now, the NTSB released dozens of other documents from its investigation and has set a hearing in Washington, D.C. for December to determine a probable cause. Live in the newsroom, Craig Treadway, PIX11 News.